dizzies. No, nah, I haven't done any of that yet, no. I said, he's this is where the billy goat lives. Man, yeah, is it hilly right. around here, too. It sure is. Got a new toy. Thanks to Dizzy and Tina. Uh, I think so, but you can get them a pass if you want. Oh, you got a little window sticker to stick in so you don't get a... Yeah, yeah, visitor's pass, yeah. Because I'm usually out here saying, hey, give them a tick. <laughs> this is my corner here. We're guessing, I'm guessing, it's a 1948 Cushman. Um, what did I say? What sport? Sport. Yeah, she's a sport. She's a sport. I think the VIN's supposed to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I didn't even look. I had no clue. I was like, well, I'll just let him. I said, he's probably gonna, he's gonna look at it and know what it is. Well, I just looked it up where they, they said it was supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be down in here somewhere. Yeah, I put it in Google Images. And uh, I didn't see one just like this. The closest one I thought I seen was that Ami one. Yes, that's the first one I came across too. And then I, I, I found a website that had them all listed on it. And I went down and then once I saw the, I kept switching back and forth between the video and the picture here. And I, I, I saw the correct ass end. When you said, I'm gonna go back and watch it again. I was like, yeah, and again, and again. <laughs> Yeah, and the sprocket, I mean, it, it's heavy duty. That's a thick one. Yeah, they probably ran like a, a, a an eight horse. They made their own motor. I have, a, I think it's a seven horse, that, that big one that I redid. I have another Cushman. Um, it's later, it's like a 59 or something like that. Yeah. Smaller than this, it's not, it's not this big. And uh, that one's an eight horse too. Yeah, this is extremely big. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go and check out his shop. In the back. Yeah, I've been to Harvey's house too. Oh, have you? Yeah, he tried to give me a bunch of outboards. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, sending me the rear end to the Tricon building. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's just stuck. I talked to him on the phone yesterday for the first time. Yeah, he's good shit too. Yeah, good guy. He, he thought you're having a, a storage problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a tenant here. Yeah. I, I don't, you know, I rent the third floor apartment. And this is their stuff. This is mine. Okay? This is like, there's my snow blowers, my bikes, all my fenders, the Model A stuff. My, this is, uh, I got a few augers and stuff. I don't fish. <laughs> I got that one's whole engine right here. It's a uh, Eskimo. Pretty nice. You can move this light around. That that motor is the um, I think it's the AH47. That I no, it's the smaller version of that. It's the one uh, I think Roking got not that long ago. They got fired up the one horse. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, it's three horse. So that might be it. That might be the AH47. The, the one that I had running on the bench to try to figure out if the uh, to use for the bike before I, I did the other one yeah. when I was trying some others. That's that same motor. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and this one's the Eskimo. Right oh, yeah. The whole, whole thing, yeah. yeah. It's got a clutch in it, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and that one's never been used. Like that, uh, that whole piece, it's never even been used. No, it is too. They get used so little. And it's got a piece of wood on the bottom. The teeth are still new, like the, you know. Yeah. It's just been stored here, stored there, stored here, stored that's there. That's what happens. And is the gas goes getting, bad in them. They don't. They get used very little. Yeah, yeah. Not even every year do they get used. See, that's that seven horse, and there's the tank to it, and it's all yeah. redone, and ready to go. You know. Got that one too, and I got another one here somewhere. My problem now with this is. I fucking can't afford a clutch for this. A torque converter. I think that that's one inch. Yeah, it looks it. Fucking 300, that's 400 bucks. 390 cc Honda. So that you know, that's what's taking this so long. And and I narrowed these forks. That's still the same Baja frame. Here's the piece I cut out, you know? Yeah. And the piece that I that was there, I put across the back to support it. You know? 
This is my learning how to weld. See that? that there's my welder I tuck it underneath there. You did this tiny, tiny shop. This is the shop of the short people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's another thing down here. I can't sand nothing or nothing in the winter yeah. because her heat it sucks it right up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was doing the red um, on those rims, yeah, and she, yeah, and her mother says to her, "Hey, what's all this red stuff on my stuff <laughs> everywhere upstairs?" Tina's like, "Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Dave, you can't do that no more." <laughs> no, but you live and learn. What's the missile looking tip thing there from? Those are um, from... Well tips or drillers? Injection or? machines. That's okay, yeah. yeah. Extruding tip? Yep, yeah. extruding tip, yep. Yeah. I should know that. I worked I on them. I got two little <laughs> ones over there somewhere too, I think. What company was oh, that yeah, from? right there. Uh, United Plastics. That's where I retired from. I worked yeah. at Gillette, so we did a lot of extruding, you know, same thing. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything there is, you know, the, Probably beef that up by, you know, three times the size of it. Yeah, yeah, that's a small one. Uh, they, oh my goodness, they, they go. All right, so I'm back from Dizzy's and uh, got it up on the lift, and we can go take a little more of a look, see what we got. The rear seat was added on. I don't believe that is a factory kind of deal, or if it was, it was more of a uh, um, maybe an option you can kind of go do. The seats do match each other, but. You know, looking at these welds right here, this isn't original. This bracket's not original, you can't tell whether. The hack that was on the end there. But the original seat would have been in the front here somewhere. I'm not quite sure what we got going on there. I gotta look at pictures. I don't know if it bolted off of kind of like those two holes. Or if the, the brackets kind of, maybe they were longer and they broke off. Probably would have been something like that. Knows with the springs, I'm guessing. And uh, there's my light. Front and rear tires are locked up. My front front one rolls. Back one is locked up. Uh, may t try tomorrow just to see if I can uh, uh, take that apart. Maybe get the brake out of there. The brake is probably what's holding it. But uh, that tire holds there. The front one, yeah, she's a. Uh, Needs a little love. Uh, the size I think is uh, uh, we got a 4.75 by 7.75. So I'm going to go and look and see if I can find anything comparable that can kind of just go on the rims and hold it. I do have another Cushman out back uh, with a motor. And again, it's a later, uh, later edition. This is, I'm going to say they made these I think between 48 and 55. We're gonna go call this one a 48 because um, anything under 49 does not need inspection. <laughs> not that there's much to inspect when they're together. And I cleaned off the VIN. And uh, it's a 004, 000417D. So it sounds like it's fairly low on the, uh, the totem pole. So I have a feeling it might even be a, a 48 being that low of a number. And I don't think there's a very good way to um, decipher their numbers. So that's what we're going with is with this left of a wiring harness. Run into the tail light. And um, there's a switch there. I'm not quite sure if that would be high beam, low beam. That looks like it's uh, somebody added it later. It probably didn't have high beam, low beam, considering there's only two wires coming out of the back of the headlight. Uh, I would think one of those would be ground and one of those hot, or the, there could be two separate hot leads, I'm not sure. A little springer front end. Nothing looks like it was uh, terribly whacked or knocked out of shape or anything. It looks like the handlebars were re-welded at one point. But you gotta figure the thing is 67 years old and it looks like it's probably been outside for 50 of those 67 years. Got a, like a swing arm on the back with springs tucked up underneath it. And there's one on the other side. The spring on the other side is busted. That's it. I like the length of it. Actually, the length and the girth of it. 
and I do have a, um, a motor which I'm thinking of for it. Let's go take a walk. Walk in the dark. Must have been windy last night. That's the hammock. Uh, I got given to me a uh, old generator. And uh, generator was no good, but I had a Vanguard V-Twin on it. A little 16 horse jobber. And uh, it Electric, it's electric start. The starter is no good, but it is an electric start motor with a charging system. And that's the shaft that I cut off of it because it's a tapered shaft. But uh, I cut the shaft off of the um, generator part of it. And uh, I could probably make that whatever I need. Maybe set that up with a uh, like a CV type transmission. And uh, that would make that thing scoot right along pretty good I think some other antique motors in there there's an old Briggs that's gonna be too small I got some bigger ones out back too but uh, they're fairly heavy and uh, don't put out much horsepower Let's see if this focuses there you go the neighbors kind of go over overboard with uh, Christmas so we get free lights. I don't have to set anything up. <laughs> well, again, I want to thank uh, you, Dizzy, and uh, Tina for going through the trouble of grabbing that thing and hooking me up. And uh, it may be yard art for a while, but I uh, actually think we can kind of do something pretty cool with that. And again, if I can kind of put that together, I don't have to get it inspected. I can kind of do whatever I want now, can I? So again, thanks everybody for watching, comment, subscribing. Take care.